Stanford University. We've invented a new microscope that allows you to image muscle microstructure and dynamics. This opens a new window to understanding normal muscle function and muscle in disease. The muscles in our body are actually composed of a finite number of force generating units and the nervous system activates these in a discrete or successive fashion. And so what we're able to do now in humans for the first time is to visualize the very elemental force generating unit at work. This is the microendoscope needle. So this is a 20 gauge needle with optics in it and a little window at the tip that we can stick directly into skeletal muscle. And because the needle's a conductor, we have a wire that we can send a shock through to elicit a contraction. This gets inserted directly into the muscle and then this microscope attaches on top of this, uh, delivering the light through the needle to excite the second harmonic generation so you can produce the image and then returning the light back up through the microscope to a fiber optic that goes to the cart. The microstructure of skeletal muscle is striped. It's called striated muscle, and the distance between those stripes tells you how much force muscle can generate. If they're too long or too short, they generate very little force. If they're in the sweet spot, they can generate their maximum force. It now allows us to observe elemental twitches, and we can also determine the twitch speeds of single motor units. We can see whether these are fast twitches or slow twitches. Many of the diseases that we hear about oftentimes, like muscular dystrophy or Lou Gehrig's disease or myotonic dystrophy, those are all cascading effects of disruptions that have happened at that very basic scale. And ultimately that manifests as an individual that can't move and, and, and will in fact die from these very devastating diseases. This is the first handheld two photon microscope. So it brings two photon imaging to a clinical form factor. If you apply a therapeutic, like a drug, you could see how the muscle responds, and you can also track disease progression over time. Not only can you image muscle, you can image skin, bone, cartilage, and we have just begun to explore the applications, which is uh, quite an exciting development that we intend to pursue in the future. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.